Hello, how are my wonderful friends today? How are you folks doing? Good. Yeah, good. You know what? I brought something special for you. And I got to tell you something. I love stories. Do you like stories? Do you like stories too? Well, I love stories. Working now? Is it working sort of? Oh, good. Okay. Well, I love stories, but I was practicing my story this week and I was disappointed. You know why? Because it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. Do we need that? It's a little bit ringy on the high end. So you know what? I decided I needed help. And I was wondering if you guys could help me tell the story today. So I'll tell you what. First of all, let me ask you, have you ever had somebody say, Shh, we need to have it quieter? What do they do when they do that? You hold your lips, you ever done this? Shh. Can you do that, everybody? Hold your lips, can you do that? And make a shh sound, okay? And so this will be the part of it. It's quiet, when you hear the word quiet, we're all going to go, shh. And here's another sound. What does sound does people make when they're sleeping? Do you ever hear somebody sleeping? <laughs> you ever hear somebody do that kind of sound? OK. We're going to do a sleeping sound. Maybe you can do this, OK? And how about this? There's another motion. When you, you ever seen anybody rock a baby? Is anybody around here rock babies? How do they do that? Rocking back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and there's a song we're going to learn how to sing. And this is the song. I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as I am living, my baby you'll be. We'll work on that song. Maybe by the end of our story, we'll know that one. And at the end of this, when you help me so much, we need to do something else, which is stand up and bow. And the people out there do their part by clapping for us. Can we try out the clapping part? Let's see. If, there we go. So we've got the parents all. They have their part figured out. There's one other part I want to share with you. When people, kids grow up, did you know that? That little kids and big kids, sometimes they grow bigger. And this is what they do. They grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Can you do that? Bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, we're ready for our story now. Let's see how much help I can get. A book is called, I Love You Forever. You ever heard of this story before? I have too. And let's see this story. I'll help you watch for the pictures here. I'll hold it up so you can see pictures. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him. You ready? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang. Here's our song. You ready? I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I am living, my baby you'll be. Oh, that's beautiful. Very good job. Next page. Are we ready? Oh, what is that? Look what's going on there. Do you see it? Look at that. Okay, well, let's read the pages. The baby grew. You ready? He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old. And he ran all around the house. And he pulled all the books off the shelves. And he pulled all the food out of the refrigerator. And he took his mother's watch and he flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. Next page. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, shh, 
she opened the door to his room and crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I am living, my baby, you'll be. Excellent job. Next page. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Can you see that picture? What happened to that little boy? Let's find out. The little boy grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old, and he never wanted to come in for dinner, and he never wanted to take a bath, and when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. Oh, no. Poor Grandma. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. Next page. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever. I like you for always. I have a tough time getting through this book. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Look at that picture. What's going on in that picture? Can you see? It's a mommy rocking that little baby. Is there anything on this world so precious? That is so sweet. So what happened next? Look at this page. What is going on there? Is that crazy or what? That boy grew, he grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a big teenager and he had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like he was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, his mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of the bed if he was really asleep. She picked up that great big boy, rocked him back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, and while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I am living, my baby, you'll be. That teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man, and he left home and moved across town. Sometimes on dark nights, look at this story, look at On dark nights, the mother would get into the car and drive across town. What is she going to do? What is that mama going to do, you think? If the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed. That big man was really asleep. She picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always. 
As long as I am living, my baby, you'll be. That mother got older. I was going to put a wig on at this point, but I didn't get one. She got older and older and older. One day she called up her son and said, you better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. And when he came in the door, look. She said, I'm very old and sick. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I love you forever. I like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. So what's happening in that picture? Can you see that picture? Can you see that picture? So the son went to his mother and picked her up and rocked her back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as I am living, my mommy, you'll be. What's happening here? Do you see that picture? What's going on? Well, when the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. And he went into the room where his new baby daughter was sleeping. And he picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back back and forth and while he rocked her he sang I love you forever I like you for always as long as I am living my baby you'll be you know Jesus is so beautiful and he gives us those very tender caring moments as a picture of how amazing he is. He loves us so much more than our deepest, closest connection with our loved ones. And we have the opportunity to share that wonderful Jesus with our friends and our families. And so now you did such a good job. Can you stand up and bow? Can you do that? And these people do their part by clapping for us. Thank you so much. You can go join your parents now. Thank you.